Tony's Tractor Adventure. Our neighbor and good friend called up with an emergency. He had two loads of hay and rain was coming in tomorrow. Bella and Daisy will sure be looking forward to this hay during the winter. What's he doing? Hey there. You say hi? Hi. I always found horses to be so intriguing. Well, back to work. We thought it'd be better if we run a big strap around these hay bales because they're really a bunch of individual square bales that are wrapped up with this cord. So we were afraid if we just tried to out and out pick it up that it would fall apart. And some did. The LSMT240E is rated at about 2,400 pounds lifting. So I felt real comfortable we had enough to lift these bales. I, you know, we could lift a, a round bale pretty well easy. But, you know, I still took my time and I was still cautious because I really didn't know exactly how much these bales weighed. Those bells didn't even phase the MT240E. I didn't even really uh, notice they were out there. Still didn't want to drop them though, and I was still being careful. Had I dropped them, that would have meant manual labor for me. Kind of against that. One of my summer jobs, I threw a little bit of hay. I still remember it really well. In standard country boy fashion, we developed a plan on how we were going to move and stack this hay after we started. Also in standard country boy fashion, we did develop that plan and then we made it happen. The plan is we were going to take two of these bales, stack on top of each other, and then use the tractor to push both of them inside the garage at the same time. Take your time and move slow when you're in real close tight quarters like this. There's the children around here, and there's dog, and even my wife running the camera. Let's go slow. The good idea fairy cast her spell and made me think it would be a good idea to stick the forks of the tractor through this hay bale. You can see the uh, string starting to break as we went through further and further. I got a little brave here, and I really thought about picking this bale up, but common sense got a hold to me and I went ahead and set it down and we decided it was better just to strap this thing up. I don't want to pick a bunch of hay bales up. I would like to put a hay bale spike on this tractor just to see what it would do with one of the big round bales. My wife is so talented with a video camera and she got some really cool footage here. I was really starting to have some fun about here. This is this is interesting stuff to me. Now we're just going to slide this hay in in the back corner. This shore beats doing this by hand. But I almost forgot to put my uh, roll protection system down. I caught it at the last minute.
I didn't want to hog up all the tractor fun, so I, I yelled to David to see if he wanted to try this out. After watching him operate this little bit, you can tell he grew up on heavy equipment.
Daisy. Have a bella bella. Bye. I mean.